highlighted by Mikel Arteta after stellar Arsenal debut. While much was made of Declan Raya's first bow as an Arsenal player, it was fellow debutant Jurian Timber who dominated the post-match discourse after the Gunners battered the MLS All-Stars. Jurian Timber was handed his first minutes as an Arsenal player during their preseason clash against the MLS All-Stars and the Dutchman did not disappoint. While all eyes on were £105 million man Declan Rice as the pair were introduced to proceedings at the time, it was actually Timber who stood out from the crowd. Purchased for £38 million from Ajax, there are little doubts over the defender's technical quality and his ability to operate as both a traditional and inverted fullback. After the game, boss Mikel Arteta waxed lyrical over Timber and highlighted four things that the young Netherlands international excels at, which in turn provides an insight into why the Gunners were so keen on landing his signature. I think you've seen tonight. He's a really versatile player, Arteta added. We can use him in different positions within those positions. He gives you the capacity to invert and occupy different spaces. He's so comfortable on the ball in that phase. As well he's got that aggression in the duels and that dynamism which I really like. You saw with his first action, High Press won the ball straight away, won the duel and was ready to go. He is going to be a really important player for us. The first quality Arteta pointed out was Timber's versatility, which will come in handy given he has experience at both right back and central defense. As the Arsenal boss mentions, Timber can also be used in a number of different ways within the same role. It is widely believed that Arteta is planning to deploy the 22-year-old in a similar way to how he uses Alexander Zinchenko, with as much emphasis on contributing to the midfield effort and ensuring the Gunners dominate the ball as there is on the defensive side of the job. Timber's technique speaks for itself, with the Dutchman regarded as one of the best ball-playing defenders in Europe. It is what made him such an attractive prospect to Arsenal's rivals Manchester United last summer. Eric Ten Hag worked closely with Timber in Amsterdam and has previously heaped praise on him for his ability to adapt to different roles. Timber could even play at left back or in central midfield, the United manager explained. He will not immediately be the leader of the Ajax first team, but he dares to speak out immediately and has not been shy in the dressing room. Those are important qualities to get far. Timber's first action as an Arsenal player on the pitch was to press high and pick the pocket of an opponent, in turn starting an attack in transition. That is the kind of aggression Arteta explained he values post-match and will stand the Gunners in good stead next season. Gabriel Martinelli responds to Arsenal leadership questions as transfer signals end of era. Switzerland midfielder Granit Xhaka was a big influence in the Arsenal dressing room and his departure for Bayer Leverkusen came as something of a surprise. Gabriel Martinelli is confident Arsenal have the leaders to replace Granit Xhaka. Switzerland midfielder Xhaka was a big influence in the Arsenal dressing room and his departure for Bayer Leverkusen came as something of a surprise. It also signaled the end of an era because he was the last remaining regular starter from Arsene Wenger's days in charge as Arsenal move into a brave new world under Mikel Arteta. While Arsenal prepare to honour Wenger with a long-awaited statue outside of the Emirates, they have a new group of players ready to write their own history. But leadership will be important and Martinelli insists they have strong voices within the squad while it is already clear that new £105 million record signing Declan Rice is future captain material. Shaka said his goodbyes to the Arsenal players after the final game of the season in May and now they have welcomed new signings Rice, Kai Havertz and Jurian Timber on the preseason US tour. Arsenal forward Martinelli said, Granite is a top guy, a top player and he was one of the captains in the team. But we have many options. He was always right there to help me but we are going to find someone else to do that. Of course, we got the chance to say goodbye. We spoke in the last game and he's a lovely guy and I hope he does well this season. I just wish the best for him and his family. Quote. Arsenal boss Arteta has also taken the unusual step of welcoming players' family members to join the squad in the United States. Several players have got loved ones with them in Washington before they travel on to New Jersey and then finish in Los Angeles with games against Manchester United and Barcelona, having thrashed the MLS All-Stars. Arteta is always determined to make little changes as he believes small margins can make a big difference. Players spend a long time away from home, there are big commercial demands on them during this tour and it means a bit of time with family makes a difference. The players mingled with loved ones after the game in Washington with several families turning the tour into an American holiday. 
Martinelli's family are back in Brazil but he said, it's so good. I have said many times, my teammates are my family as well. We are just a unit. Martinelli was on target in the 5-0 win over MLS All-Stars and, having missed the final matches of last season through injury is now back to full fitness. He also says the arrival of Havertz gives them even more attacking dimensions. He added, I am fully back now and confident to start the new season. It's easy to play when you have so many players like that. It was difficult to miss the last two games of the season and then I went to the break and tried to recover as soon as possible. That's what I did and now I'm fully back and ready to go again. It's so important we have options because we have too many games in the season and it's going to be tough again. We are ready to go and it's good to have so many options. Meanwhile, Arteta is confident that Leandro Trossard, who was also on target against MLS All-Stars, will be fit again soon after he limped off injured in Washington. Arteta added, Trossard got a knock and we don't want to take any risks at this stage. He had some pain. We'll see how he is but I don't expect it to be anything big. Poll shows Arsenal fans believe they will secure a top two finish next season. Arsenal had an impressive season narrowly missing out on winning the Premier League and finishing in second place behind Manchester City. The Gunners' performance was considered an overachievement, especially when compared to their previous campaign standings. Under Mikel Arteta's leadership, Arsenal has set a high standard for themselves for the upcoming seasons, and fans are eagerly anticipating the club's position in the next campaign. During the transfer window, Arsenal has made significant additions to their squad, signing some exciting talents, which has further raised expectations for the team's performance in the coming season. A survey conducted by YouGov and Skybet, as reported by the Daily Mail, sampled opinions from fans of all the Premier League clubs to create a predicted final league table for the next season. The survey indicates that Arsenal loyalists are optimistic about their team's prospects, with the second-highest average finishing position predicted among all the clubs in the league. This suggests that the fans are confident in Arsenal's ability to build on their last season's success and compete at the top of the table in the upcoming season. After watching our team impress last season and the transfer business they have done so far, it is easy to see why most fans expect the side to perform well again in the next campaign. We hope the new signings meet expectations and give us a lift when the new term starts.